Welcome to Jess Andy Weddings, featuring expert tips, planning advice, and live events with recently married couples, wedding professionals, and wedding business educators. We are going to learn what a wedding planner does. What is the difference in the different types of services oh. a wedding planner provides? And there we go. Hey! Hey! We made it! We, we did. did it! Yay! And can you hear me okay? Yeah, I hear you great. Okay. So I think we are good. If you could hear me and I can hear you, we're good. <laughs> That's good. I just got to remember to look in the little thing, not at you. Right. Yeah, I know. I, I do the same thing. Thankfully, it's like, <laughs> because we're sharing the screen, it'll just be a slight side diversion. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, so we're really glad to have you back on. We had you, what, three, it was three weeks ago or four weeks yeah, ago? Yeah, a few weeks back. Yeah, right around that time that uh, Instagram and Facebook crashed. <laughs> yes, and we have major technical difficulties. Yeah, yes, so thanks did. for trying it again. I don't yeah, no have problem. anywhere to, um, I'm trying to find somewhere safe to put my phone. So mm. I'm going to try to do oh, that. Looks Is that good? So far, yeah. Okay. As long as it doesn't fall, we're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, so I'm glad we can do this again because last time I know there was some latency and audio issues and then... Facebook was having their own technical problems, so I couldn't save That's the video, right. so we're going to take another crack at it. I've got headphones this time. We're, oh, I right. think we're good, Jess. I think we yeah. got this. Awesome. Sounds great. Uh, okay, so just to recap, I see we have one live viewer that's checked in so far. We are talking about wedding planning. So Jenny with Jenny McAlpine Weddings is here today, and we are going to talk a little bit more about the services you provide and uh, some tips and information for couples who are engaged so that they can understand more about the services available to them and how they would go about hiring a platter. Yeah, Absolutely. Awesome. Um, so first off, let's just learn a little bit more about your company. So the name is Jenny McAlpine Weddings. Tell us a little bit more about what got you started. Yeah. So um, I have been a planner as long as I can remember. I, uh, I'm from New Zealand, which is the, the accent. I, I okay. want to put that out there just so people don't think I'm from some other country beginning with A. <laughs> um, and um, I, I grew up in a very social home. My, my parents, my, my siblings were all, we love people. Uh, my parents are self-employed. They are uh, photographers. So um, they, they have a business at home. And so all of my growing up years, I, um, I saw my dad uh, heading off to weddings every weekend. My mm. mom, um, you know, back in the day was helping brides, helping couples and moms and whatnot um, with a lot of the planning aspects that there wasn't such thing as a as a wedding planner back then that really paid. yeah mm -hmm. so she used to do a lot of the things that um that we do just because she loved it so i kind yeah. of I, I grew up in in that seeing it and uh, always wanted to to have my own business but um my my background from from then to to this business has been more in sort of corporate association event management mm -hmm public relations and tourism. So using all those skills, when I, when I decided to start my own business, um, I said to people, I have decided I'm going to start this business. I have got my business plan. I'm going to be a yep. wedding planner. And everyone went, of course you are. <laughs> so that really made me feel like I was on the right track, people that knew me best. And mm -hmm. um, I was just always really inspired to, to be self-employed and to, to do something I'm really passionate about. So I'm really lucky. I I get yeah. to do what I love every, every single day. So yeah, I'm fantastic. very lucky. Yeah, that's great. So uh, you operate in Kelowna and you service the entire Okanagan Valley? That's right. Yeah. Um, this year I have quite a few weddings actually in the South Okanagan, which is oh, exciting because a, a lot of my work is around Kelowna and up to mm -hmm. Vernon. But um, this is the this is the area I know best. I'm very passionate about it. Mm. I am very knowledgeable knowledgeable about the area, and as much as I'd love to go to Italy and do someone's yeah. wedding in a, in a wonderful, exciting, beautiful place, um, this really is. Um, it's really important to to have that familiarity when you're planning mm -hmm. a wedding because there's so many things that you need to know and the, yeah. the network and the 
you know, your, your contacts, all of that is really important. And, mm -hmm. um, I, I do make that my business to, uh, to constantly be meeting new people and seeing new venues and seeing, you know, there's always renovations going on in different places mm -hmm. as, as you, you well know. Yeah. Um, so just really getting out there and making sure that I'm, I'm well aware of what's going on in our community. Um, yeah, that's great. Cause you know, when you're, you're Googling, it's, it's, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing that because I'm on my laptop. <laughs> the Google symbol. <laughs> it just, it just, re yeah, it just reminds me. I was watching The Voice the other night, and Blake Shelton did that. He goes uh, something or other on Twitter. And he's doing this with his hands. I'm showing my age. Um, um, where was I going with that? Um, yeah, when you're when you're googling something, you you're not necessarily coming up with, say, a venue or a DJ or a photographer this the best fit for you you know it's maybe right, someone yeah. who's worked really hard to get on that page one of google and everybody mm -hmm. else um loses out because we're so impatient right we just want to go yep 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 that right. that one so um it's really important as a planner for me to know what is out there because you may end up in a in a venue that is so spectacular that you never even heard of it's not even mm -hmm. googleable mm -hmm. um so it, that that is is that a word um, I, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's important to be knowledgeable. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it really is interesting when you were talking about your parents as photographers and how they often double dutied as a planner. Cause I've, you know, had that exact experience that yes. if a couple, especially if they're doing the full affair I mean, there's, there's certain circumstances where, you know, couples opt for a really simple wedding or an elopement or whatever. And, and the details aren't, you know, too um, varied, but but when you've got the full deal wedding, there's a lot of things going on. And without a planner, yes. it ends up falling on the family. But most family members, they don't have a ton of wedding experience. So yeah. then it seems like without a planner, it's kind of on the photographers usually. Absolutely. <laughs> like coordinate everything. Yeah. And that doesn't always work that great because we have another job to do. So You, you do. But I'm sure that, that both of you are experts at putting on a boutonniere. And, we are now, yes. You know, and, and bustling <laughs> yeah. a dress. Like these, these are the things that, um, that, you know, you have to jump in. And, and we have to do sometimes too, jumping in. Um, goodness, I've got like a laundry list of things that, that we've done that we've gone, oh, eh, okay. Um, and you, and yeah. you do it because they need it, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. So, sewing a bride into a dress or, right. um, you know, explaining what a boutonniere is. The groom's going, I don't know, do I need one? What, what is it? And um, <laughs> right, Just tuck it in this pocket here? It, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <not> so <laughs> there's, um, there's all sorts of things, you, you know, on the fly that, that all of us have to do. But you guys have a whole other job that yeah, yeah, exactly. you're there to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, so that's one of the benefits with having a planner is that the other professionals that a couple's hired for their day can focus on their job and do it all the way. Um, another benefit to having a planner would, I kind of touched on it, would be for the family and guests of the couple getting married, correct? Yes. Yes. And that's something I say quite often is uh, I've never heard of you know, the, the bride's cousin or the bride's mom going, yay, I'm so glad that I had to do all those pickups on right. the morning yeah. of the wedding and I didn't get a chance to do my hair. That was awesome. Um, you know, I think it's really nice that um, family and, and friends get to be a part of the, the day and not, you know, I mean, Absolutely. some people, some people do want to have jobs to do. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, I had a, a couple last year and the mom really wanted to be a part of it, but, um, it's kind of like, what can I, what can I do? I want to be helpful. So I actually right. gave yeah, her a list nice. for she and her friends of some things that they could do that were really super helpful for all of us, but they felt mm -hmm. really special that they were yeah. included. And yeah, yeah so it's great. not about, it's not about me coming in and, you know, taking, taking it over, over, but um, just being really mindful of so, sometimes people do want to help. So rather yeah. than just letting them, toodle around behind me and, and then it slows me down. It's, you know, here are some things you could do that would be really awesome. Exactly. Jenna Jones is watching and she says, wedding, oh. wedding planners are the best. Everyone. Everything oh, goes so hi, Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very true. Um, it, yeah. You know, if family and friends, let's say they have relevant experience or they, they just really want to get involved in elements of the wedding day, that's a great thing. But it's nice to know that they also have the freedom that if, 
if there is a moment occurring, they can just stop what they're doing and just be part of the moment. They don't have yeah. to finish a job because it's all riding on them. So really at the end yeah. of the day, that's what you're taking off of a couple and, and the people there is you're taking that responsibility off their shoulders. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, and just, just knowing that you've got a professional as well that can mm -hmm. do it. I mean, a lot of people are, are very good at organizing and they're very yep. skilled at, you know, bringing things together and, you know, managing people. Um, but if something goes wrong, which sometimes it does through no yep. fault of, of anyone, things just happen. Yeah. Um, you know, a, a, a qualified experienced planner is, is able to deal with that, you know, say exactly. you only get, you only get 97 chairs. There's three chairs missing. What do you, you know, what's, What's Aunt Betty Joe going to do? <laughs> Aunt Betty. <laughs> well, I was going to say Jenna, Auntie Jenna. Um, yeah. What, what, what are they going to do? do? They're going to go, oh, my gosh, uh, a panic. Whereas, you know, we know what to do. You know, there'll, yeah. there'll be a solution. And um, exactly. We'll figure it out. And hopefully, yeah, you know, neat. when things do go wrong, um, not that we want things to go wrong, but yeah. if, if things are a little bit, what do we do? Um, the, the couple don't even know about it most of the time yeah, it's it's you know we can great. just kind of tootle around get it fixed make sure things are done you know sew the bride mm -hmm. back in her dress or whatever the situation is you know getting stains yeah. out of shoes or what have you um mm -hmm. yeah well, you know I've things. also seen it where um the family and you know sometimes the wedding party they really care about the couple a lot and so if they see something that's a little off or something that's not getting done or something that is stressing out the bride or the groom they take it very heavy upon themselves and if they don't have a planner there or a coordinator in some cases to kind of talk the situation through and come up with an action plan then they end up having mm -hmm. to talk to the couple about it you know and so it's something that it's just, yeah even for the wedding party and the family that are there especially you know in those moments before the ceremony it's huge to have someone that it they is. can call if they have a question and they don't need to bother the bride and groom at totally. all totally and yeah. i make that really clear to people too at the at the rehearsal because that's a really mm -hmm. special mm -hmm. time for um you know there's generally not you know the whole peanut gallery there some people bring <laughs> yeah. everybody which yeah. is totally fine but it's generally you know the wedding party the immediate mm -hmm. family that are somehow involved in in the day and those are the times that I can really connect with them and make sure they know um who I am how to find me you know all yeah. of all of that and um and sometimes there are um times when you know a groomsman or you know, one of the bridesmaids is, you know, can I get some help with X, Y, Z? And, mm -hmm. you know, even, even on the, on the morning when we, we go and, um, and check on them, I go to the ladies and my assistant goes and checks on the guys. And, you know, we make sure that they're, um, having something to eat and totally. drinking some water. Yes. And obviously people have a little, a little tipple as well, Lovely. but just, yeah, just making sure that they're looking after themselves and that they're mm -hmm. relaxed and, you know, can yeah. get in the car and actually be like, right, good. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm hydrated. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Um, so that's some of the benefits on the day. What about in the planning process? What are a few of the benefits of having a wedding planner versus a couple doing everything themselves? Oh my goodness. Well, having, having the weight lifted off you, um, mm -hmm. is, is huge. I think for, for people and, um, I think I, I mentioned to you recently that uh, I was reading something that it's saying that it takes a couple about 250 hours to plan their own wedding. What? And I don't wow. know about you, but I also have friends and family and a life and, yeah. you know, <laughs> <A job. laughs> uh, the yeah. stuff going on. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, that's a lot of time for people over the course of a year, 18 months to, uh, to sure. put into this. And then you, you're all weddinged out. So I, I think mm -hmm. it's, if people, um, if people think of it as, you know, it, it is an additional expense in the, mm -hmm. in the big scheme of weddings, but, um, to be able to enjoy that time and have someone, you know, say to someone, these are things I love, this is mm -hmm. what we envision and, you know, making that all happen, I think is, uh, it's extremely helpful for people, but also the process Fantastic. can be really yeah. enjoyable Mm -hmm. as as well and um the other the other thing that um comes up quite a lot is is budget of course and right before i even get started in looking at venues or looking 
you know, for vendors, for people, um, we have to have that kind of somewhat awkward conversation sometimes mm -hmm. about, about money. And, yep. you know, it's, it is really difficult for some people to talk about that. Um, right. But I'm, I'm really um, hopefully easy to, to talk to about that. And I just really want to know, um, you know, what is important um, because if, if there's only this much money, um, or even if there's this much, it's, it's like, what is really important to you? Yeah. Um, you yeah. know, photography is really important to you. Um, let's allocate a little bit more into that and we'll take some away from this and no one will ever know. Mm -hmm. So to be able to work with someone, um, and, and allocate that budget out completely, mm -hmm. um, everybody, all of my couples have found that, that really helpful. Um, I, I won't manage their budget as they go mm -hmm. along because they may spend money that, you know, I don't want to get 14 emails a day saying I just yeah. spent $26 on, yeah, on exactly. paper. Um, but it's giving them that real um, grounding of, mm -hmm. um, you know, I have a bit of a formula that I use, but also I know how much things cost in the Okanagan. And exactly. when yes. things are inflated or, um, you know, I don't see a lot of that, but you know, what, what is something worth? Um, yep. and, and, and that differs from person to person, right. On, on what their, mm -hmm. their values are. So exactly. laying all of that out. Yeah. Well, like for example, um, with photography, like there's, there's charging what the service is worth. And then the, sometimes a uh, photographer is going to charge for a special type of luxury that they offer or mm -hmm. accolades that they have in their portfolio. And if a couple highly values that they're going to, it's, it's worth it for them to invest in that extra expense. If a couple doesn't really value those things or isn't looking for that, then, I mean, you know, it's important to get a really professional photographer, but there yes. may be someone who's, you know, just a little, it's just better suited to them. And so you have yeah. the knowledge because you get to know the couple so you can help them figure out what they really want and need. And then mm -hmm. what you said about the local market, I really wanted to touch on that because it's uh, in the Okanagan where if you're watching us, that's where we both live and where Just Andy Weddings is located. Uh, there is a lot of professionals that come into the Okanagan from outside. And mm -hmm. I am not, I'm not against that completely or anything, but it's something for a couple to consider, you know, if you're going to go to Italy and you hire somebody where you live and they don't, they don't know what the the prices land. are like mm -hmm. there then they're not going to be able to provide you as much support in that capacity. And it's the same thing here. When a couple comes here, because we have tons of destination weddings, like mm -hmm. what, what are some of the places you've had couples come from for a wedding? Oh, um, the States, Mexico, England. Wow. Oh, and I've got one this year from Australia. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So all, all over. And, the, yeah. and everyone, everyone has a different reason as to why here as well. Yep. So yep. it's, yeah, but um, they, they put their trust in, um, in me to find them whatever it is that's the best fit for them. And, right. um, you know, there, there are some uh, vendors from, from outside of the area that, um, yep. that we work with. Um, and that's generally... Um, I find if my couple has a prior relationship with them and they right. want to bring yep. their, their hairstylist or bring their, mm -hmm. you know, the, the person who photographs uh, their work things or something like that. But yeah, exactly. Um, place yeah, I do, that. yeah. And I do find a lot of the time it is them trusting our judgment and, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, generally they're, they're local just because, um, you know, I, I have had that situation with a photographer saying, um, they were from somewhere else and they're like, okay, so where are the good places to shoot? Where should I do mm -hmm. the first look? Um, I can, I can come up with a whole bunch of ideas, but it's, it's yeah. really like you, you guys are the expert with, um, you know, lighting and um, style and location yep. and that kind of thing. So that's really like, that's the local photographers that, that know that stuff. You can't mm -hmm. just, you can't just find that on online. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So so worth just putting up that plug out there at just Andy weddings. One of the things that we're going to be providing a lot of content on starting in May and moving forward is having a destination wedding in the Okanagan. Um, you know, we see couples all the time that they don't stay here in the Okanagan. They go elsewhere for their wedding. And I mean, 
I would love to have a wedding on a sandy white beach. I totally get why couples do You can that. do that here. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. And there's a lot that the Okanagan offers. And on an international level, um, some of the reasons that we've heard for why couples come to the Okanagan is four distinct seasons. Um, the yes. fact that they can have a gorgeous lake with a white sandy beach or a rocky beach, that they can have the forest, that they can have the top of a mountain, that they can have a valley, that they can have a field. Yes, they can the variety. Have a winery, a golf course. Yeah. There's so many options. Um, so there's that. There's also the cost savings because for a lot of countries, the dollar here is actually saving the money. So mm -hmm. there can be that reason as well that couples choose to come here if they're wanting a destination wedding. So we're going to provide more content. We'll have you weigh in on some of those things too, as we educate people around the world on what mm -hmm. the Okanagan has to offer. And also one thing I'll, I'll add to that is um, specifically the um, Canadian couples that come mm -hmm. here for a destination wedding. I find that um, a lot of, a lot of my couples who don't live here, they have family in the lower mainland and they have family in Alberta mm -hmm. and the access to the Okanagan is, is super easy and seamless. So you right. know, people drive yeah. or point. there's direct flights to come in here, um, direct flights mm -hmm. from Seattle as well. So, you know, it's, it's the ease of, of getting people in and out. And I find yeah. that, um, People are, are taking this as, as their vacation, too, when they're coming here for, right. you know, yeah. their friend's wedding. And they're like, hey, I'm going to take a week and I'm going to go mountain biking and wineries yeah. and play golf. and Absolutely. Yeah. There's, yeah, so much to do and really all year round. So yes. it's pretty cool. Awesome. So uh, Jenna had also commented saying that you help a couple with their timeline and that makes a huge difference just bringing everybody onto the same page for the vendors and the couple mm -hmm. and the guests so that everybody knows what's happening and they can allocate the proper amount of time to things. Totally. Um, which, you know, is also a great stress reducer. So that's great. It is. Yeah. And I, and I do find sometimes like, um, you know, a, a, a couple might say, yeah, but we're, we're really organized. Like we'll just do a timeline and, hmm. um, that's, that's a no, thank you. Um, so, so what I do with a timeline and, and you've experienced this as, has Jenna, um, is I check with all the vendors and the venues, right? Um, yeah. what do what do you guys need? Cause it's not about me saying this is how the day's going to run. Mm -hmm. Um, my couple obviously have got a huge say in how they want the day. For sure to sort of pan out and like, do they need more time in the morning? Do they want to like, just, you know, go, go, go. You know, I've got some, some guys, um, that are doing 18 holes before the wedding. So all of those, wow. <laughs> yeah, she's really happy about that. Um, <laughs> but, um, but you know, Better you, than you have 18 to, beers. <laughs> that's true. Yes. That is not happening, but, um, you, you have to, you know, as a planner, you have to be respectful of, of everybody's, you know, requirements and, um, and also you guys as photographers have got a job to do. You know, you may have a, a short list of two pages, who knows? Um, you've got family pictures, all those things are so important and yeah. making sure you get what you need. And, you know, on the, on the mm -hmm. beginning end for the, the hair and makeup team to not feel yeah. rushed and sure. make sure the ladies leave going, I look incredible, not, Ooh, I yes. wish I had more time. So, um, yeah. better to have more time than, than be yeah. rushing. So exactly. yeah, the, the timeline is a, is a biggie and there's a lot of back and mm -hmm. forth. It can, For sure. it can take a lot of time. Exactly. Well, you know, sometimes vendors don't necessarily um, <coughs> ask me. all those questions of the couple. So uh, I know even for ourselves, it's very nice when a planner kind of leads the charge and then we can weigh in as a second, second step. Um, mm -hmm. But also, uh, you know, a lot of couples don't understand unless they've been married before, they've been to a lot of weddings. They don't understand that what you think takes half an hour might take an hour and what you're yes. sure is going to be done at one o'clock might not even be done till two. And they don't understand the variables that might affect timing. So totally. if you can explain that to them. You can help them make sure that they are actually ideally a little bit early to things so that if the worst happens and it's late, they're actually yeah. not late. So we can always kill time. some time. And, yes, you exactly. know, say, say if the wedding party get to the reception venue, which sometimes happens, uh, and they're 15 minutes early, um, you know, that's lovely. They can, they can have a few minutes to freshen up. Maybe they'd like a glass yeah. of water or a glass of wine, whatever. Um, but it's, it's just knowing 
knowing how things flow and also being here, um, knowing the lay of the land, how long it takes for people to get from here to there as exactly. well, you know, taking Saturday traffic in July into account and, mm -hmm. um, and just, uh, just making sure that it's super easy. I mean, for sure. The, I, I don't want my, my bride and groom with their, with their, you know, color coded spreadsheet like this all day. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. you are not bringing paperwork with you. You don't need it. Like we exactly. just gently move them along and make sure that they, you know, we've got them and we'll just tell you what to do. Perfect. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that's a lot of information, a lot of great tips. Um, you've written an article for the Just Andy Weddings blog, so we will post a link to that in the comments below, whether you're watching this on Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, Pinterest, or Facebook, you can find in the comments the links to Jenny's article, as well as there's an ebook that you've helped us create uh, mm -hmm. with tips on finding your venue and questions to ask a potential wedding planner. And then we're also going to hop on right now to Instagram at Just Andy Weddings, and we're going to do a quick chat about a few tips for hiring a wedding planner for your day. So if you're watching this live, you can join us there at Just Sandy Weddings. We're going to be there in like five minutes or so. Mm -hmm. um, but before we end, how can people connect with you? They can connect with me on Facebook or Instagram mm -hmm. at Jenny McAlpine Weddings. Okay. And uh, also online, my website is JennyMcAlpineWeddings.ca. I'd love to hear from you guys. Awesome. That sounds great. Thank you again for joining us. And, Thank you. Uh, I'm sure we'll have you back. Okay. Sounds good, Jess. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. We're coming to you straight from the beautiful Okanagan Valley in Canada. I'm Jessica Schlamp with Jess Andy Weddings, and we look forward to hearing from you.